Bob Ross painting today is nearly impossible to find, let alone buy. Ross himself estimated that he completed more than 30,000 paintings in his lifetime. The New York Times did a piece on this and explained what happened to all of his paintings. A man named Aaron Bird wanted to buy a Bob Ross painting for his brother, but came up against a massive obstacle. They were nowhere to be found. He couldn't find one at an auction, at a gallery, online. They were extremely difficult to track down. Joan Kowalski, the president of Bob Ross Inc., is the one who has all the paintings. She said they don't plan on selling them, that that wasn't Bob's thing. He didn't care to make a massive profit off his art. Ross did 31 series, each being 13 programs, each with three versions of the same painting. He would paint one before the show, one during the show, and one after the show, which is why there were so many of them. Apparently, he'd label the best of the three book to showcase in his book. He'd label one TV, the not great one, and the third one would be marked Kowalski for Joan's mother, Annette. Annette was the one who discovered Bob Ross by accident. Her husband signed her up for painting classes and Bob was her teacher at an adult art class in Clearwater, Florida. She took five days of his class and said from the first day she was so mesmerized by Bob that she couldn't paint. An article in the New Yorker quotes Annette as she once explained, I called Bob and I said, I don't know what you've got, but I think we ought to bottle it and sell it. Walt, Annette's husband, was interviewed by the New York Times and said that he had a positive feeling about Bob when he first saw him. And eventually, Bob moved in with Walt and Annette. Quick recall back to the suspicions that Bob and Annette were also lovers for a time. The article goes on to say, Ross cultivated an intimate, even sensual allure. He practiced, he was trying to be a little sexy. In the documentary, one of Ross's co-workers describes him as a little bit of a flirt, apparently not in a creepy way. Joan Kowalski, Annette and Walt's daughter, who is now the president of Bob Ross Inc., said, it never occurred to us to sort of change the whole concept that we're not in it to sell paintings. She said that wasn't Bob's thing. But if you remember the Netflix talk about betrayal and greed, the Kowalskis have no problem selling loads of kitschy Bob Ross waffle makers, socks, snow globes, mugs, you name it. So it wouldn't be his thing to sell the beautiful art he so believed in, but it would be his thing to sell a machine that makes waffles that look like his face? Something isn't lining up here. The theory is that Bob Ross was actually a serial killer who painted where he hid his victims. On his PBS show, The Joy of Painting, Ross would teach people how to paint beautiful landscapes in less than 30 minutes. A question that does come to mind and that I found that a ton of people on the internet have been asking for years is, where exactly was the main location that